Hi everyone, in front of me I've got Infinix Note 40 and let me show with you how to add the fingerprint to this device. Let's start with opening the settings and here we have to scroll in order to find uh, password and security. Now let's tap on fingerprint, so the second option, and before we will be able to add the fingerprint, we have to set the screen lock. It is because and that if for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't work, then you will still be able to unlock your device with the pattern pin or password. So let's tap on set screen lock. Let me choose the pattern. Let me quickly draw it uh, and redraw it and then confirm. Here we've got the notification content, so it's totally up to you. And finally, we've got the fingerprint uh, section. So let's tap on add fingerprint. Uh, here we've got the information about it. So we have to avoid uh, the environment with a strong light, keep the screen clean and tidy. And that's actually a really good tip. So let me quickly clean the screen before we will do that. And apply the officially uh, certified film, which is quite important because um, sometimes with third party screen protectors, uh, they may affect the fingerprint uh, sensor. So, so it can work um, a little bit uh, differently. So let's tap on next. And as you can see, we've got the sensor. So all we have to do is to put our finger on it multiple times in order to add our fingerprint fully. So try to catch every part of it uh, for better recognition, of course, later on. Now the edges. Okay, we've got it. That was quite easy, so let's tap on finish. Uh, here we've got the fingerprint we just added. We can uh, rename it or remove it if you want to. Uh, we can view enrolled fingerprints. I'm not sure how many we can have, probably five. Usually it is up to five. Basically, if you've got more than one fingerprint uh, added, you can put the fingers on the sensor and your device will show you which fingerprint, fingerprint it is. Here you can decide uh, for what you want to use the fingerprint for, so unlock screen and access app lock, more settings so you can enable any screen fingerprint when the screen is off, and dynamic unlocking effects, so this is more um, aesthetic option. Uh, you can just choose the, um, the effect, which I would say they are quite nice. Let's choose this one. All right, so let's lock the device and let's check if it is working. So we've got the device locked. We've got the fingerprint sensor, so that's good. Let me pull my finger on it. And as you can see, the device is unblocked, which means that we just successfully added the fingerprint, of course. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.